Nature Crazy's top eight methods for reversing ALS. ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which is also more popularly known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects up to 30,000 Americans at any given time. Although a large number of people are convinced there's not a thing they can do to fend off ALS emerging, scientific evidence has shown that the disease can be prevented, delayed, and completely reversed. In other words, there have been a large amount of people diagnosed with ALS that went on to live a healthy life without limitation from this disease that was once thought to be incurable. Now, getting an ALS diagnosis can be understandably extremely traumatizing, especially considering conventional ALS treatments can include invasive approaches like breathing equipment, feeding pipes, and medication. The good news is, there are natural, non-invasive ALS treatments that can help slow degeneration and greatly improve your symptoms. Today, we'll be sharing Nature Crazy's eight exclusive recommendations that can help you naturally reverse ALS and get your body back to a point of health. They address the most critical root issues of ALS and are proven through scientific research. One, supplement with 10 to 20 milligrams of lithium orotate daily. Lithium orotate is a neuroprotective agent and a candidate for disease modification in certain neurodegenerative disorders, such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Now, in an Italian study at the University of Pisa, researchers revealed that the trace mineral lithium carbonate could significantly slow the progression of ALS. The neuroprotective effects of lithium rely on the fact that it modulates several homeostatic mechanisms involved in neurotrophic response, autophagy, stress, mitochondrial function, and inflammation. Additionally, it inhibits glycogen synthase kinase 3 beta, or GSK3 beta, and inocytal monophosphatase. Now this may sound complex, and it certainly is. But in layman's terms, this simply means that the lithium orotate can actually help halt the progression of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis by cleaning up misformed proteins that aren't supposed to be in the brain. This process is known as autophagy. Again, we recommend 10 milligrams of lithium orotate a day from a high quality brand. Two, supplementing with the antioxidant vitamin E on a regular daily basis is a great idea because there's growing evidence of their role in health and disease. In fact, a study found that regular use of vitamin E supplements was associated with a lower risk of dying of ALS, and the results of the study also suggested that there's a connection between vitamin E supplementation and ALS prevention. Several studies have shown that vitamin E can prevent neuronal death in vitro, and may have therapeutic properties in animal models of neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and ALS. We recommend using a high-quality supplement containing the entire tocotrienol family, used on a daily basis. 3. Supplementing with a heavy metal deoxifier, like methylvat, on an ongoing regular basis will be very helpful in your recovery, because mercury and other heavy metals actually play a large part in a bountiful amount of neurodegenerative diseases, and ALS is no exception. Not surprisingly, a study found that elevated levels of inorganic mercury are found in these patients versus unaffected people, so a regular detox routine to keep mercury and other heavy metals low in our bodies is an excellent way to stop and reverse these disorders and diseases. We recommend using the brand Immune Boost 77 on a daily basis, since it's a great natural deoxifier of heavy metals like mercury. Four, supplementing with iodine regularly will also help chelate heavy metals such as aluminium and also support your thyroid function, so it's a win-win supplement for those suffering from ALS. In adults, excessive aluminium buildup can cause neural issues resembling Alzheimer's and has been linked to amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and to the Romanian variant, ALS-PDC. Now, there have also been similar outcomes that have been found in animal models, and it's also important to understand that when you combine mercury with aluminium, its toxicity dramatically rises. So we recommend working up to five drops of iodine daily. Five, 
Mitochondria are the power generating parts of cells and brain tissue. They help our muscles to function properly, but in people with ALS, these intracellular power plants malfunction, which in turn causes tissue to degenerate. Supplementing with coenzyme Q10 is a good idea because it supports mitochondrial function and could potentially be useful in slowing or even stopping this progressive illness. In fact, a Japanese scientist asked his colleagues to treat him with coenzyme Q10 after living five years with the disease, and by that time, the disease was beginning to take its toll. But by utilizing coenzyme Q10 daily, the scientist saw notable improvements. His grip returned and his weakness lessened. We recommend working up to at least 200 milligrams of coenzyme Q10 daily. Six, supplement with a combination of curcumin and transresveratrol on a regular basis. Researchers at the University of Occupational and Environmental Health in Japan found that they both regulate autophagy, which is a process in the development of many neurodegenerative diseases, including ALS. In other words, this supplement combo can help naturally modulate the type of inflammation involved in motor neuron degenerative diseases by giving powerful anti-inflammatory aid to the brain. We recommend using one of each on a daily basis. Seven, many cases of ALS are actually Lyme induced and that goes for Parkinson's, MS and Alzheimer's as well. The bacteria that causes Lyme disease is Borrelia burgdorferi, a type of corkscrew-shaped bacteria known as Spirochetti. A doctor quoted in the popular award-winning documentary Under Our Skin stated that he's never had a single patient with Alzheimer's, ALS, Parkinson's disease or multiple sclerosis who tested negative for Borrelia. Now, because Lyme disease tests are highly inaccurate, often inconclusive or indicative of false negatives, it's important to see a Lyme literate MD or LLMD in order to get a correct diagnosis. And eighth, conventional medicine for individuals with ALS has typically been geared towards dietary modification and or oral agents. However, the Human Genome Project, which gave birth to the field of epigenetics, has transformed the way we understand biology and medicine. Science has now shown us that the human body is not just a biological machine, but more of a vibrational energy force governed by quantum physics, hence the success of the placebo effect. Now, as a result, energetic medicine is starting to be recognized in the allopathic community for its value in healing, and in some hospitals, they're even allowing Reiki practitioners or acupuncturists to work on patients in the hospital. Adding this into your regimen could well be a major benefit in your quest for reversing this disease. That was our eight recommendations to reversing ALS and taking back control of your health. We hope that you found the answers you were looking for and you realize that ALS is not a death sentence at all. We also encourage you to check out the additional links at the bottom of the page to other helpful resources, including a short video that features actual ALS survivors who've reversed the disease. If you want updates on cutting-edge hair, skin, and health tips, just subscribe to this video below and check out our website at naturecrazy.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.